Hi everyone, Anna with Anna's Wonderland here, and I'm here to show you my latest junk journal. I just love the way this journal came out. It's a little bit um, more on the richer side of colors, and um, I don't know, I just love, love this style with the darker colors. Um, like I said, I've been struggling to try to figure out my style, but I don't think I have a style. I think I'm just all over the place. You know, if I like it, I, I'll try it. And then if I like, if I'm inspired to do lighter colors or shabby or grunge or, I don't know, I'm just all over the place, but I, I just, I love this journal so much. And um, this journal I did using Tanya Samuels um, digital papers and some of mine as well. And it's so cute. So first of all, we have this envelope here. This envelope is a vintage envelope from Spain, from Barcelona. I love it so much. And I did it um, kind of layered on the top, hugging the entire journal. And it's so cute. I love this applique here. I had this little piece forever, and I thought it was perfect for um, the uh, frontier and then I did some decorative stitching and I did some um, I did buy this dark brown tape um, I love it so much I just love how it gives that vintage vibe so pretty And then right here and this little cover this uh, envelope here looked like a little house it was so cute I love it and I added this a cutie patootie here and this picture is also um, included in Tanya's digitals I'm gonna leave the link to her shop and to the digitals that I used so you guys can check it out there's so much cute stuff Okay, and this paper clip is just holding these tags here. Oh, let me focus here. There we go. So I love what this says. She always stopped to smell the roses. And then we have the roses here. And then this uh, together sign. I think there's a, there's a little pocket here, a little tuck spot. And then, yes, this flips open. this little floating pocket and I just collage these tags here and this um, page here is also antique this looks like it may be a religious book. 
and then we have the gold trim here and then this page here has a little pocket here more of those rosy tags that I just love some decorative stitching some antiquing here and then I tucked in this um, envelope here and this is a copy a digital copy of these envelopes that I got um, I think this is probably like military mail so it would, it would just fold it like this I'm not really sure And then right here, I um, added this um, vintage handkerchief, and I love it so much. Look at how pretty it is. So dainty. I love it. It has tiny little daisies. And I love the color, too. It's so pretty. It just kind of goes with the envelope here. And then we have this page here that I just love so much. I love the grunginess of it. And I love how it has the pop of the dark blue, which was perfect for my little blue ruffle here. And I did um, double side this page. So cute. I love, love, love how this looks. And then this picture here is also part of the collection. And I made him into a pocket. I just added this card. So cute. I love this um, color, like uh, brown and white. I don't know if this is sepia color. Was Is this considered sepia or... Or I'm not sure of the um, the tone, but I like it better than the black and white ones. I like this uh, color better. And then I love this page here. They made this into a pocket. And then right here we have some original vintage ledger. Or I think this it would be considered antique. This is from 1911. I love this. And then this is uh, just attached into a glazing bag. And in this bag we have, I added the, um, these butterflies, kind of like specimen style. And then I added the other part of that antique ledger, cute. And then we have this adorable page. I just love the way she collages um, her pages. So pretty um, so this one has kind of like the um, vintage tape already on here just so cute and then um, she has the seed and co um, image here that I love I just love 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 this I love the seed packages and then I love stuff with the year as well I just really loved this collection It's so pretty and she has a wallpaper collection. Um, I think this is part of that rose collection. I'm not sure. But uh, I know I got a, a few of her collections. So like I said, I'll leave the link to her store so you guys can check it out because her papers are so cute. And then here we have a vintage ledger from Spain.
And then we have this um, upside down pocket. I love making those. And I added another one of these rose pages. And some of these playing cards that have the wild flowers of America. And then this is a vintage book page from Spain. And then I just love this one here. I love the, the pink with the darker pink and then the pop of green. So pretty. Again with the roses. Love it. I love the collaging here. So cute. And then this is also a copy of, um, actually this is one of my digitals, but this is a, it was like a flyer also, probably from a museum, also from Spain. I just love it. And this here too, I did some collaging. This is one of my digitals, but I don't have it in my store yet. And then this is from my Family Roots collection. And this wallpaper here is also from her collage, her collection. So there's a pocket here, and then there's a pocket here, and then this is kind of like a double pocket booklet. So I love, love this page here too. It's just so pretty. Anything with roses is just so pretty, especially if it's like collaged um, with advertisements. Like right here, she added this um, little tag here, and then she just combined different pages. And then in here, it has a copy of this vintage ledger. And then some of more of that vintage tape. Okay, more of this digital here. Um, these are documents from the, uh, I think, 18, 1800s. And then I love this book page with all these numbers. This book got pretty chunky. I don't even know how many pages it has. So, yeah. Love this page. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty. I love how she incorporated the roses just really really caught my eye it's so cute tape in the middle 
Here's another envelope from her collection as well. Original postcard. Another uh, picture from the collection. And I have another one of these tags. I printed so many of these, I just put them all here. <laughs> and then here is this adorable little baby. I love this one. I love the color of the like brownish or is this considered gray? I don't know, but I love this picture. So cute. I love the tone of it. The, I want to say sepia. Then uh, here's that picture, that one that I loved with the black and white. And then with the colors, another pocket. I love the vintage, grungy vibes that it has. And then here's that hanky. Adorable. So yes, guys, make sure to check out Tanya Samuels. I'm going to leave the link to her Etsy and her YouTube. She is amazing. Tanya, thank you so much for collaborating with me. And um, I know you're so busy. I love watching your uh, videos. Your journals are amazing. And I just um, thank you so much for accepting my collaboration. And yes, guys, check her out. She just came out with a another collection one is mushrooms actually with two more collections one ha it has to do with mushrooms and it's so cute i've already bought it and i can't wait to use it and another one i i think also is a floral collection but it's so cute so check her out and yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time bye